We're all sinners. We all mess up in many ways. We sin by directly disobeying God's commands. And we sin by neglecting to follow God's commands. We sin by hurting others. And we sin by hurting ourselves. And we all sin in different ways. Some sins don't tempt certain people, but they fall victim to other sins that don't tempt other people. But we're all united in one particular way of sinning. We all occasionally sin in what we say. Sometimes it's a lie. Sometimes it's gossip. Sometimes it's just a poorly timed joke. But it's something we all do. We all mess up in our speech. This is such a universal thing that James goes so far as to say that if anyone does not stumble in what he says, he's perfect. He's able to control himself completely and never sin. But we're not going to find a person like that. Because just as James also wrote, we all stumble in many ways. So since we know that sinning and what we say is common to us all, we need to be on guard against it. We need to be careful that we don't unnecessarily offend, or misspeak, or mislead, or slander, or gossip, or outright lie. Because even if we don't do all of these things, we all do some of them. We sin in the things that we say. And since we know that we all sin in the things that we say, we need to be quick to forgive. Don't be so offended when somebody says something offensive. Yeah, they shouldn't have said it. But don't hold it over their heads the rest of their lives. Realize that you yourself so often mess up in the same way as them. Sure, let them know that you were offended, but be quick to forgive if they repent of their mistake. Are you still holding a grudge against somebody for something they said a long time ago? Chances are, they didn't even realize that they offended you, and they would gladly take back their words if they knew that they did. So forgive those who offend you, just as God has forgiven you if you've trusted in Christ. God bless you, and see you tomorrow.